we have seen uh, the union and we have seen the intersection also uh, and the third uh, category for the set difference operator is what minus minus right and this is uh, uh, interesting i let's see okay, how much we are able to understand this set difference operator and how can we translate it into sql part also and what is the intuition what is the purpose what is the meaning of this set difference operator so for all these three number one point you keep it in mind what type compatibility type compatibility and what is the meaning of type compatibility now you understand the attributes and their domain must be same attributes with their domains must be same and here i'll give you one example okay and this is a bookish example so exactly i have taken from the book what is the first relation a student right and what is the second relation instructor right and here you see fn is there and here you see last name ln is there right and here explicitly you see f name and explicitly you see last name so are they type compatible yes they are type compatible because as i can see all the attribute names are different here uh, it is different and here it is different but they are type compatible in these cases you know compatibility is there then this simple query is student minus instructor we try to understand and we try to understand the meaning in english so plain english also we try to understand so if you do this query student minus instructor number one it will not give any error how will it will how come it will not give any error because they are type compatible and how you are going to evaluate this query right so you have to start from the first relation what is the first relation a student relation then you have to check you pick you have to pick up this first one this fusion you have to pick up and you have to check if it exists or not in the second table let me say it once again uh carefully listen to this uh i'm just explaining in plain english so that you can apply this algorithm or you can apply this process of computing uh minus operation in relational algebra so you have to pick this first row so you have to pick first row and you have to search in the second table yes so in first row it is not there in second row it is not there in third row it is there it is there so you cannot take this you cannot take this i'll come to why you cannot take this then i'll come here you have to pick up the second one ramesh then you have to search ramesh in this ramesh in this so ramesh is there yeah ramesh is there fortunately or unfortunately that i don't know but ramesh is there so you can't pick up ramesh also in the resultant table so here i will make a resultant uh you know relation or a table also then johnny you have to search you have to pick johnny and you have to search here it is he is john by the way not johnny so john ricardo susan francis ramesh luckily this johnny is not there in this second relation so you have to you have to keep johnny right student you have to keep johnny in the resultant table then barbara now you you quickly you can follow this barbara she is not there in second table so you have to pick this also and then emmy emmy is also not there so you have to pick emmy also then jimmy jimmy is also not there quickly now you can see so you have to pick jimmy also then ernest ernest is also not there in the second table then you have to pick up ernest also so you have picked johnny you have taken johnny then you have taken this barbara emmy jimmy and ernest i have taken a bookish example so that i will not make any mistake and you guys also understand this example uh, right the students this is the final answer for student minus important thing if somebody has noticed the attributes name in a final resultant table is from the first relation so here the first relation is what a student so you see fn and ln fn and ln this is 
very important point you need to understand in exams if it is coming then you have to write it like this only in objective type some sometimes they'll confuse you with just the only headers or with the attribute names but don't get confused you have to take the attribute names from the first relation now can somebody think of why we are doing this what is the english meaning or what is the general sense the general sense is that this query is representing what they are the students but not the instructors they are the students but not the instructors on the other hand if you see if you see ramesh and if you see susan okay one is from i think india and another is from our neighbor and both are hard working only so they are a student as well as they are instructors also right students so i need only the students but i don't want instructors how i can write this thing in a relational algebra a relational algebra is a mathematical language just you need to write a student minus instructor it will give you all those students only they are not the instructors right so this is the final meaning of that now i am trying to uh, uh, put it in a sql form before this uh, i would go instructor minus a student instructor minus a stu student right we are just doing a reverse uh, we are just flipping uh, flipping the query here it was student minus instructor now it is instructor minus uh, instru student so same same thing is there we have to come here and we have to pick up this and we have to search in this we have to search in this if this is the case then we have to consider otherwise we don't have to consider so susan is there yes is there so we, i cannot pick ramesh is uh, there so i cannot pick ramesh also then johnny uh, johnny okay i made a mistake here students i made a mistake here actually you need to pick up this and then you have to search here because what we are doing here instructor minus a student okay i made a mistake but you guys you you will not repeat that mistake okay instructor minus a student here so you have to search from this side so john you have to search in this john you have to search in this if john is not there then you can take john i think john is not there then ricardo so ricardo again it's not there then susan susan is uh, there so you cannot consider susan and then francis i think francis is also not there so you can take francis then ramesh ramesh you have to search here then ramesh is there so you cannot take ramesh so only how many uh, you know what tuples will come this tuple will come this tuple will come and this tuple will also come so in the resultant actually what you will have is john and then ricardo and then francis right and then what is the attribute name you have first name and the last name these attributes you would have now we'll try to translate this query into sql and for this uh, uh, instructor minus uh, student you have to write a query like this select first name last name from instructor or you can write it a star also select a star from instructor except select first name last name from a student so what you are doing here instructor minus a student i i told you in the beginning that this is minus operation or a set uh, difference operation is also called except but there is problem actually associated with this sometimes it, it will not work especially in my sql so my sql this query is not going to work if you can give a try then you should give a try and then uh, you you should able to figure out why it is not working but this query what i have written hopefully it is going to work in oracle we'll see that how and why it is working in oracle and why it is not working in my sql but this is a simple query that you can follow right students so i have covered uh, three uh, kinds of binary operators again sigma pi and row right this is project this is select and this is row and then we have also covered we have also covered 
some math, uh, mathematical set operators also for example union intersection and set difference uh, please do some practice uh, on these and in next session we would see some of the joins and then we will see some real queries in relational algebra as well as in uh, sql we'll first write it in relational algebra some real queries with joins and then we'll try to translate in in sql okay students thank you